Welcome back engineers. Today we will learn about explicit dynamic analysis. The ANSYS explicit dynamic suite enables you to determine the physics of short duration events for the product that undergo highly non-linear and transient dynamic forces. The ANSYS explicit dynamic is a transient explicit dynamic workbench application that can perform a variety of engineering simulations including the modeling of non-linear dynamic behavior of solids, fluid, gases and their interaction. A typical simulation consists of setting up the model, interactions and applied loads solving the model's non-linear dynamic response over the time for the loads and interactions. An explicit dynamic analysis is used to determine the dynamic response of a structure due to stress wave propagation, impact or rapidly change the time dependent loads. Momentum exchange between the moving bodies and the inertial effects are usually important aspects to the type of analysis being conducted. Conclusion of this theory is that the short duration events for the product and the structure we analyze by the explicit dynamic analysis and events with the less than one second are efficiently simulated by this analysis. This type of analysis can also be used to model mechanical phenomena that are highly non-linear. Non-linearities may stem for the material from contact and from the geometric deformation. Events with the scale of less than one second, usually of order milliseconds are efficiently simulated with the, this type of analysis. For longer time duration events, consider using a transient analysis system. The time step used in the explicit dynamic analysis is constant to maintain the stability and the consistency via the CFL condition. The CFL conditions are the nothing but the current number that relates the length of time step to a function of the interval length. That is the time increment of the proportional to the smallest element dimension in the model and the inversely proportional to the sound speed in the material used. Time increments are usually on the order of 1 milliseconds and the thousand of the time steps the computational cycles are usually required to obtain the solution. An explicit dynamic analysis typically includes many different type of non-linearities including large deformation, large stains, plasticity, hyper elasticity and the material failure etc. In this slide all the important things we are highlighted by the red line. So the computational cycle, time and some of the key features are very important in this analysis. Like the computational cycles are 34,000 approx and the time is 1 millisecond. 1 microsecond and so on. Some of the important non-linearities including large deformation, large stain, plasticity, hyper elasticity and the material failure etc. So in the next slide we will discuss all the parameters we use in car bumper analysis. So click on explicit dynamic Click on engineering data Assign the material static structural non-linear From the general non-linear materials Click on geometry for import the geometry. Wait some time for open the tab.
click on file import the geometry select the car bumper IGS file select generate as you see there is no mistake so we create the barrier First of all we create a plane from the front side of the car bumper and the distance between the car bumper and the plane is 10 mm. We create a plane from the reference point and the edges and the base plane is ZX plane select the point where you want to create the plane Select the A's Give the offset of the plane from the Z axis 10 mm and say generate As you see from the front of the car bumper we create a plane and the distance between the plane and the new plane is 10 mm and create a sketch click on sketching click on circle create a circle click on dimensioning Give the dimension 10, sorry 20 mm. Click on extrude. For extruding the sketch in the board direction, in the Z and minus Z direction. So select the direction in board direction, give the depth is 150 mm, so overall length is 300 mm as per the problem statement and say generate. As we see that the barrier is created at the front of the car bumper. So go through the mechanical modeler for the solution and the post processing process. So go through the model. Wait some time for open the tab. As we see that in the geometry there is a question mark. So click on surface body. Give the thickness 2mm as per the problem statement. Click on mesh for generating the mesh. As we see that the elements are not good. So we click on sizing. Give the element size as per the problem statement 10 mm. For the good element. Give the element size in local and the global coordinate system. The element size is 10 mm. 
एंड से जनरेट एस वी सी दैट द एलिमेंट्स आर प्रीटी गुड क्लिक ऑन एक्सप्लेस इट डायनेमिक गिव द वेलोसिटी एज पर द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड क्लिक ऑन कंपोनेंट गिव द वेलोसिटी इन द वाई डायरेक्शन Click on Analysis setting. Before give the time and time. Click on Explicit Dynamic. Select on Fix Support. Select the barrier. Click on Analysis setting. Give the end time at per the problem statement point zero one second. and it decrease the computational cycle as 10000 click on solution insert the deformation total insert the stress one my says and say solve as we compared the data The maximum total deformation is 0.007015 and the equivalent stress is 8.221. And show the animation. As we see how the body crash and how it changes. so in this analysis we study the energy sources how the energy loss so click on solution click on energy conservation click on energy summary and compare the data in this graph the red line shows the energy loss when the body strike by the barrier as we see the energy loss is very minimum in the energy summary we will see the all the energy graph like internal energy kinematic energy contact energy horglass energy so click on solution click on energy summary see the graph guys those who have any doubt comment in the comment section stay home stay safe